Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the VAT character setup. So in Project Titan, we used uh, vertex animation textures for our characters in this project. So the first part of our tutorial will cover on how did we create this in Houdini. So we're going to use a character and also animation on that. So you can also get this animation from either Mixamo or other things you have available like MetaHumans or mocap data. And we're going to set up everything ready to go in Houdini. We're going to import our animation, we're going to set the right timing, and then we're going to export this to Vertex Animation Textures. So that will be all done, all done in the first part. In the second part, we want to then assemble the data in Unreal. So we have now all this data, like our textures and our geometry, but now we want to make sure that everything works correctly in Unreal. So we're going to have one single geometry, and that geometry is controlled by textures. So whenever I place different textures on that geometry, we will have different animations. So that's what's quite special about this here. We will use the basic features of the Vertex Animation toolset, which you can also see other videos about as well. We are specifically talking here about using soft body deformations. We will only use that effect to, of course, animate our characters in the scene. The last video is a bit more of a bonus video where I want to talk about adding variation. So this stage you're already familiar by this concept of bringing your character in game engine with vertex animation. But now we want to add variation on that character. Let's say I want to place 50 of these characters. How can I add now variation? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how can we add random color variation, but also how can we, for example, automatically or randomly add different uh, clothing styles or hair styles to these characters. So we'll quickly here show this is more of an experimental phase in Titan where we developed this way and this will be quite interesting to show everyone on how that was done. So that was it for this video. Hope you are interested in following these tutorials and see you on the next one.